ski patrollers and their rescue dogs are on standby, ready to drop from the sky to rescue people trapped in avalanches in Colorado's backcountry. Conceivably, we could get a team in inside of 15 minutes. Rescue dogs are crucial when minutes count. They can cover the size of a football field in half the time it would take 20 searchers. Okay, search. Mason, a golden retriever at Copper Mountain Ski Resort, is training to be a rescue dog. He was born May 1st of this year. So he's approximately seven months old right now. Search. We want to associate him finding things in the snow, but we work through the, towards that with just games of hide and seek. Um, it's as simple as getting him excited about his favorite toy and running and hiding around the corner in a snow hole or anything and just kind of increasing the difficulty, uh, making it harder, changing the situations, adding distractions. Um, and eventually the goal is for him to alert so that I can dig people out if they're buried in an avalanche. Mason's training happens while Gray is on patrol. I'm hoping that he ends up being about 50 to 60 pounds. That would be ideal because I do have to be able to pick him up, uh, load him on the chairlift, load him into the snowmobile, load him into helicopters. If he was to get injured out in the field, I've got to be able to physically carry him out and rescue him. Flight for Life provides the helicopters, and about two dozen ski patrollers and other dog handlers volunteer to respond to avalanche emergencies throughout Colorado's Rocky Mountains. Longtime dog handler John Reller works with Reco, a distant relative of Mason. Not all dogs make it through training. All dogs have a great nose, but uh, not all of them have the drive or the desire to work under the conditions that he's, these guys have to work under. It'll be a year before Gray knows if Mason will be able to join RECO and the other dogs of the Colorado Rapid Avalanche Deployment Program. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Copper Mountain, Colorado.